Hi, I'm Adrian, one of the co-founder of LaGrosse Machine. Today we're going to talk about managing duplicates and blacklists. Over time, you'll suddenly create multiple campaigns and be faced with a problem, especially when doing mass outreach. How do you ensure that a lead has not already been activated? How do you ensure that you don't screw up and piss off people by contacting them multiple times in a short period of time? This can be a serious issue that can affect your reputation. And obviously, we've built safeguards dedicated to preventing this situation. First off, you have to know that whenever you import leads that are already in your lead manager, Legos Machine will automatically detect it and merge them together to avoid having duplicates. We do this based on the email, the LinkedIn profile, and the first name, last name, company name. But what about which info we keep when we merge duplicates? It's up to you to decide based on your settings in your outreach settings. By default, we do not overwrite the data with the newly imported data. Should you wish to systematically update with the newly imported data, don't forget to change it. Now, coming back to our topic of managing duplicates. Since the leads are automatically merged when importing, you can use our dedicated filters to identify leads that have already been a part of a campaign, leads that have been recently contacted, or my personal favorites, those that have recently replied. Filter them, select them all, and then you can choose to remove them, move them to another audience, and so forth. But what if you simply want to blacklist them and make sure you will never contact them again? You have two options. You can use the unsubscribe feature to simply edit their subscription status. When a lead is unsubscribed, following GDPR rules, you will not be able to contact them ever again, even if you were to add them in a new campaign. The second option would be to create a specific blacklist audience, as seen here. For example, a blacklist of new clients that you don't want to be outreaching to. It's especially useful because it might be people that you have never outreached to before using Lagos Machine, but it's people you should not outreach to automatically nonetheless. Safest to say, you're in good hands to manage your contact list effectively.